This is a story about the bionic woman and her friend. Once upon a time there was a lady called Jenny and her friend who was called Julie. Jenny was known as the bionic woman because she could do all kinds of stuff from her wheelchair and when she wasn't in her wheelchair, Jenny could make her wheelchair go up as high as about 15 foot. She had springs underneath her wheelchair that allowed her to bounce up and down like on a trampoline. She also had these springs for her legs and arms that allowed her to do whatever she wanted to do. She was very bossy towards her friend Julie and used the fact that she was bionic to her advantage. One day Jenny and Julie were in town together and they decided to go to Morrison's supermarket to do a bit of shopping. Julie, get me that massive tray of cat food down please, said Jenny. No way, I can't reach that. Hire your wheelchair so you can so you can reach it yourself, said Julie. I will not. Besides, if you want me to stay your friend, you will help me, said Jenny. I don't mind helping you, Jenny, but I can't reach what you want, said Julie. OK, I will hire my wheelchair and get it myself, said Jenny. OK, thank you, said Julie. Don't thank me. Next time, do what you are told, said Jenny. You're very bossy, Jenny. I don't know who you think you are, said Julie. Listen, I am not bossy. I am Jenny, the bionic woman. I am your master and you will do what I say, said Jenny. OK, said Julie. They burst, both burst into fits of laughter. When they'd been in Madison's, they decided to go around a few more shops. Julie, will you please get me five of those cat baits and five bags of those cat toys, said Jenny. How am I supposed to carry all this, said Julie. I'm sure you'll find a way, Julie. I'm sure you'll manage, said Jenny. I hope you're not planning to buy any more stuff, Jenny. I don't think we'll get much more on your wheelchair and I can't carry any more, said Julie. Just a couple more shops now and then we can go back to my house for a bit, said Jenny. Oh, OK. You know I can't get anything down off the shelves for you, don't you, Jenny? said Julie. I know, it's OK, don't worry about it, said Jenny. Later that day they both went back to Jenny's house. I'm home, Mum, said Jenny. OK. Oh no, Julie. Has she had you carrying all our bags for her, said Jenny's mum. It's OK, I don't mind, said Jenny, said Julie. Jenny, you should be ashamed of yourself. Julie's not your personal slave, you know, said Jenny's mum. She is my slave and I am her master and she will do as I say, said Jenny. Everyone laughed at her. You are funny, Jenny, said Julie. I know. Julie, if you're not doing anything, we can go back into town again tomorrow if you want to, said Jenny. OK, that's fine. I'll see you about 12pm, said Julie. OK, said Jenny. The following day, Jenny and Julie were on the bus going into town when they noticed a group of four young women about Jenny's age laughing at Jenny. As you can imagine, Jenny was upset and hurt by this. When they got off the bus, the group of four followed them around. Jenny, instead of getting upset, use your springs. Remember you're a bionic woman, whispered Julie to Jenny. Oh yes, I never thought of that, said Jenny. Go for it, Jenny, said Julie. If you don't watch out, someone's going to get hurt because I'm a bionic woman, said Jenny to the girls. No, you're not, said one of the girls. OK, I'll prove it to you, said Jenny. Jenny then made her spring pop out, making the girls jump. Both Jenny, Julie and the girls thought that this was really, really funny. They were all laughing so hard that no one could speak. Once it all came down, one of the girls said to Jenny, What's your name? My name's Jenny and this is my friend Julie. I am her master and she is my slave, said Jenny. At this they all cracked out laughing again. That day they all decided to go for a drink in the nearest pub together so they could get to know each other better. Whilst in the pub, Jenny pressed a button on her wheelchair by accident and one of her springs shot out and hit one of the bar staff. Thankfully he wasn't hurt. 
He knew Jenny didn't do it on purpose and he thought it was really funny. About an hour later Jenny noticed that two guys were carrying on with each other and she used a spring to separate them and to stop them from fighting. The guys were laughing so much that they'd forgotten what they were arguing about. A few days later Jenny and Julie went into town again. Julie, don't forget I am your master and you are my slave and you will carry all of my bags for me, said Jenny. OK, said Julie laughing. Whilst in town Jenny bought loads of stuff and of course Julie had to carry some of her bags. You are such a slave driver Jenny, you really are, said Julie and they both laughed. The next time they went into town Julie had decided to get her own back on Jenny and she did. Jenny, I need to do some serious shopping today and you will carry my bags for a change, said Julie. I will not, said Jenny. Yes you will, said Julie. And again they both laughed. That day Jenny did carry some of Julie's bags on her wheelchair and she put a couple of light bags on her knees. Now who's a slave driver? said Jenny. Well you know how it feels now, don't you Jenny? said Julie laughing. OK, OK, you win, said Jenny, also laughing. Jenny and Julie were such close friends and they had such a special bond that some people even thought they were sisters. Every time they met someone new, Jenny would introduce herself as Jenny the Bionic Woman. She would always tell people that Julie was her slave and that she was her mother, which always made, and that she was her master, which always made people laugh. The end. Thank you.